Alright, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a duct tape pillow. Then, I'm making it with neon green on one side, neon pink on the other side, and then I'm going to tape I'm going to tape the edges, because you have to tape the edges right there, with zebra print. And it's going to look awesome. I'm going to show you how to do it today. So, I'm going to set that pillow aside. I'm going to need scissors. I already put out the sheets for you, but you should know how to do the sheets if you're taking on a pillow. So, I'm going to get started with that. Okay, I'm having trouble. Okay, so and you're gonna need some toilet paper or cotton balls or paper towels or Kleenexes. It doesn't matter. I didn't have any cotton balls, so I'm just using a lot of toilet paper. Okay, so. Sheets, and I'm going to tape three sides, only three sides, with my zebra tape. And you need to measure them, so like, take it and then put it along the... Put it along the thing like that. And measure Now that this, now that this piece of tape lines up with well, almost lines up with that. I'm going to tape it on there, and then I'm going to line... Okay. I'm going to line it, the other, the other one up, and I'm going to fold it down like that, so... And then I'm going to cut off the excess. should be able to do that with it. Okay. And then I'm going to tape the sides. Your friends will be so jealous that you'll know how to do this and they won't by this. Sorry. There. And then, again, cut off the excess. side of the first one. It's nicer to leave uh, um it's nicer to leave a bigger side to put in the stuffing.
so I'm gonna leave that side blank. Cut off the excess over here, and then cut off the excess over here. So it should look like that. Now I can you can slide your hand in. Okay, so gotta get all of these pieces out of the way. Okay, and then it's time for it to start ripping it up. We want to make sure that it's totally ripped up, so, and then you can do some stuffing, so, rip a little at a time because ripping them off, uh, ripping them all up at the same time is hard, and it's super hard. You want to make sure that it's going to be fluffy enough for you because this was the first one I did and I didn't make it fluffy enough. See, it's flat. So, let's see. Or whatever you're using. Rip it up. Don't be neat with this part because you don't want it to feel like you're. Your hat, you're laying your head on folded clothes. Okay. And, yep, that's enough. So, measure. With duct tape again. There, I like stuff it in there so that it doesn't get like taped and it's stuck there. And this part is always the hardest. Because you gotta keep it down. So, flatten it out right there. And then see. And you're done. You just have to cut the excess off. It's pretty, I think it's pretty amazing how I think it's pretty amazing how that turns to that. Just you do. See? 
make sure it's taped all the way. And it's going to be air starting to have to snip off a little corner of it. Make sure you can blow in, air in and out like this. Okay, but you don't want it too thick because I cut this one too much and now it's flat. And then you can put just random designs on it. I'm gonna go through the like the waist design. And it's going to be, like, really freaking awesome. And, but I'm going to make a, another video for that. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful. And you'll see me and watch my other videos. Bye.